What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest lineage was based on Android 13 and this is an unofficial build by the way by Pulkit 18th January 2023 build. A lot of you guys actually suggested me to try this ROM and I am impressed I gotta say with this ROM even though this is an unofficial ROM the experience overall the smoothness of this ROM is just amazing and if you love stock Android experience this is gonna be one of the best like experience out there for the Redmi Note 10 Pro that I can pretty much say. Now it also has everything working like the Leica camera is present by default here. So if you're in a need of MIUI camera you are pretty much set here and we have even the Google's extreme battery saver and stuff and a lot of other change logs you can see from right here. In the about section this is how it looks like it's not like too much different but yeah it is very minimal I would say and the Android version shows as Android 13 of course. If you make this clock to 1 o'clock you will get the Android 13's easter egg. The Lineage's version is 20 of course and here this is the 18 January build again an unofficial build and if you keep tapping on it here you will get the OG Lineage OS logo. The security patch here is latest of January 5th 2023. The stock kernel here is the 4.14 Kiol kernel and we have the build date again right here. Now let me show you the system settings. In here you will get a system updater and you can check for updates over here and here also it shows that OG logo of Lineage OS looks very cool in my opinion. By the way if you want to flash this ROM you can check out the flashing guides from the description box and only here in the system settings you will get some customizations I would say. In the gestures we have the swipe to screenshot and stuff if you are in a need of that and we have the press and hold power button action you can switch it to digital assistant if you want and the one handed mode is also there and you can customize it to show notifications and stuff. Let me go back we have the system navigation gestures. In here we have this navigation hint, swipe to invoke assistant is also working fine but of course as this is a much more vanilla experience so here you will not get pill bar customization like the thickness and the length those things are not present. By the way this ROM of course comes with G apps and we have the two button navigation and the three button navigation you have this hold for assistant for that. In the status bar settings we have the quick pull down you can choose it to right or left. In the system icons we have this headset Bluetooth headset icons. But this section actually looks very older, Android 7 or 8 if I can remember correctly. We have this clock position, you can change it to right or left. Show seconds option is there, AM, PM style you can change. Auto height for clock is there and we have this battery style. Not much, we only have this portrait, circle and text option. Then inside this battery percentage, we have this inside the icon and next to the icon and you can hide the battery percentage. In the bottom, we have this brightness slider, the auto brightness and the brightness control. So the brightness slider, of course, you can enable. This is how it looks like. And by the way you can slide a finger on the status bar to actually control the brightness of the screen. In the system profiles we have these profiles you can create a new profile too if you want. In the button section we do have an invert layout then we have this edge long swipe action and you can toggle it for these many actions and we have the power menu customization here we can enable the advanced restart option and we have the long press power button toggle torch then the control playback then we have the show volume panel on the left side and stuff and the keyboard cursor control etc options. Right now let me show you the home screen. This is how it looks like and definitely to me at least it looks beautiful. It is the pixel launcher present by default. Let me actually show you in the home screen settings. You have the suggestion disabling option but there is no double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen as this is the stock pixel launcher I would say. So yeah very vanilla kind of experience. Of course to the left of the home screen we get the Google's discover page and these are the stock apps that you get in this ROM. Except the Pixart and the Fresh Walls. Swiping up on the home screen will get you to the app drawer and this is how it looks like. You can search for any particular app that you are looking for. And also there is this audio effects if you want to enable that you definitely can. You can customize the base virtualization and stuff. Let me go back from here. Now swiping down in the home screen will get you to the quick setting and the notification panel. And this is how it looks like. The power menu appears like this and the animations definitely looks beautiful. You can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here because I have that advanced reboot enabled and of course the home screen widgets are working fine this is the clock widget that I have added even this me smart home widget is working fine for my light so yeah all the other widgets should be working fine here now talking about the quick setting panel these are the toggles that I have added I have the heads up nearby share and stuff airplane mode the ambient display and the google home control status saver the screen recorder is also there these are the features for that we have this device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time hotspot battery saver and the always on display you can toggle it on or off there is no charging option for the always on display but yeah we have the dark theme the night light auto rotate flashlight mobile data and the bluetooth you can actually go into it from right here and the bluetooth battery percentage of course shows up even on the status bar let's talk about the stock camera well i have noticed only one thing which is weird because once i open it sometimes it shows this network error whenever i open the miui camera or like a camera 
that's how it is but yeah taking pictures it's pretty fine this is the picture i just took and yeah everything is working fine like the full resolution photos let me actually switch on the portrait mode let's switch to the front camera let's just take a quick selfie so i just took that selfie let me just open it right away and in the info section as you can see this is a 16 megapixel photo so yeah full resolution like optimization and stuff is working fine even the background bokeh if you notice overall the details of it is just awesome i have tested it thoroughly even the 64 megapixel and stuff works perfectly fine and in the video settings let me show you in this leica camera it only has this 4k 30 fps option if you know about the other leica camera in other rounds it actually shows up to 4k 60 fps but that simply does not work so this is great that we get this up to 4k 30 fps option in here because that's what it has support for and in the super macro mode we have 1080p 30 fps shooting option and the super macro lens is actually working perfectly fine if you notice that yeah it is focusing perfectly fine even you can shoot 1080p 60 fps videos if you want even if you want the documents mode yes that too is working fine as you can see it shows that yellow line over here you can shoot pro mode videos you can control the white balance the focus and the shutter speed and stuff everything is controllable and we have up to 4k 30 fps support even for that but yeah for the front camera we have up to 1080p 30 fps support over here and in here let me show you we have some more features if you swipe up if you customize it this way we have this short video and stuff but that is simply not working whenever i tap on it it shows network error but we do have these other options like the panorama then we have this vlog mode the vlog pro mode slow motion and we have this sticker avatars then we have this long exposure movie effects a lot more other features even the dual video mode and stuff is working perfectly fine if you want to use all of these and even the video has this bokeh effect and we have this beautify mode if you want to enable all of these you definitely can so yeah the stock leica camera is just amazing to have it right out of the box now if you ask me personally what do i miss about this rom well it does not have the app lock it does not have much customizations so if you are a customization lover you are gonna pretty much like not like it but yeah if you love stock android this is heaven for you in my opinion and in the battery section this is how it looks like it does not have even the battery temperature showing option just forget about the charging cycle and the battery current capacity design battery capacity etc just forget about those and in the thermal section we have this other options like you can set per app to default benchmark camera browser dialer gaming streaming etc options so that's great but let me talk about the battery life well over here i would say i'm getting decent battery life it has been giving me about eight hours of screen on time which is definitely awesome and the screen off or the standby time is about five days and the combined use here is about more than a day so overall the battery life is very good i have gone through a couple of cycles i would say that my battery health shows as 80 percent it may vary with your device but yeah definitely my device is about one and a half year old i can say at least so my battery is at 80 percent here it shows and the fast charging is working fine you should not worry about it and while fast charging that device does not get too hot you should not worry about temperatures over here and volte calling and stuff with bluetooth device or even normal headphones or even without headphones is working perfectly fine and we have this call recording option the video call option is there and we have this device switching option too if you want to use all of those safety net passes right out of the box so you should not worry about banking apps on this rom the dm info stays as l1 here so you should not worry about netflix or amazon prime 1080p streaming as well the ir blaster is also working fine here and this rom does support google photos unlimited backup if you need that now in the sound and vibration settings this is how it looks like you can control the media call ring etc volume control and if you scroll down more we have this phone ringtone and stuff changing option then we have the dial pad tone screen locking sound touch sound and the screenshot sound charging sound etc customization and we have this me sound enhancer too and you can set the headphone type to youth edition if you want or you have other bluetooth headphone options too and with that the sound quality with the headphone jack even with bluetooth is great and we have the sound presets too we have this bass booster bass reduction etc options and we have the select scene option too if you want to use that haptic feedback you can customize the whole UI's intensity of the vibrations now talking about the volume panel this is how it looks like and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from right here and here you can expand the volume panel just like this and you can switch the output device from right here even in lock screen let me actually show you this is how it looks like once you are playing music you have this android 13's newer look of the seek bar and again you can switch the output device from right here now in the display settings we have the brightness level the adaptive or auto brightness we also have this one shot auto brightness which actually detects the like auto brightness thing just the time when you unlock the device so yeah this is great and we have the screen timeout and the dark theme option 
you can use pure black or pitch black if you want if you scroll down more we have this font customization we only have this device default and the source sans pro option and we have the display size and text the night light option is there and you can control the intensity once you turn it on in the live display we have this reading mode then the picture adjustment and the color calibration of the screen and you can set the colors to natural boosted saturated and adaptive let me go back we have this network traffic monitor too if you want to use that you can i use a separate app for this one and we have this pulse we have this nav bar pulse lock screen pulse ambient pulse etc options if you love pulse you're gonna love it we have this data usage showing option so this is great that like it actually shows how much wi-fi or data you have used in the quick setting panel just like this nifty little features i would say in the rotation settings we have up to 180 degree and we have this peak refresh rate you can set it to 120 hertz all the time so yeah definitely i have been running 120 hertz all the time i did not face any issues overall the whole device just stays buttery smooth overall and even minimum refresh rate you can switch it to 120 hertz if you want to have 120 hertz all the time and we have this double tap to wake double tap to sleep wake up one plug and even the anti flicker or the streaming mode is present in the wallpapers and styles we have this change wallpaper option i have been using a fresh wall wallpaper the app i will list below in the description and here this is how the other wallpapers looks like like these live wallpapers are there even the living universe options are there if you want to use those and we have this community lens and the other google kind of options so you can use any wallpaper that you like here we have the basic colors and the wallpaper colors and for each of them we have 16 colors the dark theme option is there the themed icons you can enable from right here and the app grid you have up to 5 by 5 option now in the security i have some of the complaints again and in here we do have this quick unlock option we have this touch fingerprint to unlock this option is there too let me set up the face unlock quickly here in the more option again we do not have any kind of app lock option so I do miss the app lock feature over here after all other custom ROMs that I have used. But definitely if you don't need app lock, you will not miss it. And in the lock screen section, let me actually show you this. In the ambient display, we do have this pickup option where you can enable the always on or raised to wake feature too if you want. And we have the other options like the show device control, control from lock device and stuff. All these features are present. Let me show you by double tapping on the status bar. Yes, double tap to sleep on the status bar is working fine here. You should not worry about it. And the pickup, let me show you that. I just put the device on the desk and pick it up on my hand as you can see the pickup just is working perfectly fine here and this is how the always on display looks like even double tap to wake and sleep both are working fine here fingerprint scanner speed once I just tap the fingerprint scanner as you can see it unlocks very fast and snappy fingerprint scanner experience I would say and the animation definitely looks beautiful now let me show you with the always on display turned on and with that as you can see the animation definitely looks clean and the fingerprint scanner speed is very fast and snappy and let me show you the face unlock over here and once i double tap when the screen wakes up as soon as it starts using the face unlock let me show you one more time even when i have this when swiping on lock screen option selected i don't know what's happening let me try one more time okay so it's just straight up unlocks so yeah there is the black border if you can see on the front camera section okay so now it shows can't recognize face and if I swipe up, then also it is unlocking with the face unlock. It is using the face unlock all the time for some reason. But yeah, this is how it is. But the face unlock is actually working fine. You should not worry about it. Now let's talk daily driving performance. Well, overall, while daily driving, I did not face any issues. As you can see, the 120 Hz and stuff is working flawlessly. You should not worry about it. And in the recent panel too, as you can see, everything is buttery smooth. Let me open Twitter so that I can show you the scrolling. And in here, I have opened Twitter. And just notice how smooth it is in the overall UI. It just doesn't feel like an official ROM in my opinion. Everything is so smooth over here, even swiping between these many apps. And yeah, overall, the smoothness of this ROM you cannot really beat. And in the split top mode and stuff too, it is working perfectly fine, as you can see. And let me show you the Android and Geekbench score on this particular ROM with a CPU stress test to get you an idea about the overall performance of the device. If you love a custom ROM where you get proper stock Android experience, this is gonna give you that and that I can promise. So I definitely love this Lineage OS unofficial build by Polkit. Huge thanks to the developers and you guys for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share it with your friends. If you want them to know about the latest Lineage OS version 20 based on Android 13 on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.